want him to do some cross here. Nah, you, okay. you guys enjoy. Five, four, three, two. What's up, YouTube? We're here at the Indianapolis YCS, and we're here with... Garnell Cooper. And you just top 32 Yes. And what deck were you running? I was running Dark World. All right, well, let's uh, profile the deck here and uh, tell us a little bit about it. All right, of course, there's always three grapplers. Uh, Trip Snow. Double Silva. Um, I opted to run Silva mainly because I run um, both viruses. I run... Um, uh, Epidemic and Deck Debbie, and with the Phil Spell out, he's a live target for um, Epidemic. Um, I, I, I used to run uh, Bage, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't, I didn't like not being able to go graph, you know, double graph in this graph again. Um, of course, three Brow, two Tour Guide, and just. I think Dark World's a lot better with two Tour Guide. Yeah, yeah, you know. Even though I was already playing Tour Guide, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, three gates, three of the uh, dealings. <laughs> all, wait, little Alfie? Uh, yeah, they're all Alfie. Uh, I'm a rarity horse. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a huge rarity horse. You're going to be getting those super gateways, right? Oh, I'm getting super gateways. I'm getting super drag downs. I'm getting everything. So yeah, uh, drag, three drag downs. Um, three, uh, Super upstart. I got upstart. I got super. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I usually, I actually just put these in the last minute because I, I really did frown upon, um, you know, giving my opponent life points, especially when you can beat them in for so much damage. You wanted to do it quick, and being able to drop, you know, eight thousand plus on the field, you know, without giving them the added three thousand is good. But when you have this, it's essentially like running a thirty-seven card deck. So there's no real point in not doing it. Card destruction because. Our original Future Fusion in Wednesday. I heard that game. card's good. This card's broken. Even though I only, I only got it like twice this entire tournament. This entire weekend. I only got it twice. Um, Allure. Because it's plus, I mean, break even. Like, trading. Um, this card I got a lot of hate for. But um, I tech one mainly for the fact that sending the graph uh, sending the graph as a cost and not uh, part of the effect, even if it's good to stop, is mainly all you want to do is just get that graph in the graveyard. No, you don't get uh, to blow up a card, but still, you know, just being able to drop in the graveyard and draw two and still have a live, you know, a graph in the graveyard that's going to probably, you know, come back. It, um, it's like the closest thing I found. It's a pot of greed. Yeah. And, you know, it's like somehow help you get in the graveyard just because you have like a graph or a snow or something in your gates and you don't want to use your graph, but you just want to dump it right away and then bring back. Right. Uh, Close thing we had to that was what be drawing malicious. Yeah. <laughs> um, I played one pot of duality. Uh, another card I got hate for because uh, yep, yep. A lot of people are um, telling me that you know you're not gonna be able to stuff some like why the, why the single pot not two? Uh, because I stuff some. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, I play one. Usually I'll, I'll set it and bluff it, and I actually did that in top tables against um, uh, Stefan, uh, and he actually fell for it, and I was like, yeah. Uh, Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but it's it's basically just you know just to reach for those cards that you can't get. I mean, granted, you, you might you won't be able to sell some of that turn, but if you need a card, like say if you you know you can find you dig for that grapher, pitch with uh, any discard spell or you know discard card and just set up the next turn. <laughs> um, one terraforming, uh, yeah. You didn't get no hate on that. No, actually, I did. People were actually surprised. Um, some few of my teammates were actually telling me, you know, you can switch out, switch out, you know, fill uh, with gates, but why waste it with gates? Well, no, why waste snow, snow for gates when I can just, you know, set this, you know, set that drag down, send the snow, add the graph up, flip, flip, <laughs> and uh, get the gates, play it, discard, you know, just, you know, then do your shenanigans. So I mean, I I, just, I found it being good. Plus, I, I added it last minute because it's coming kind of super. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, foolish, but it's, it's just good. And super. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really good. Um, I had one. I guarantee you're doing. You got yes. it. Yes. <laughs> um, the dark hole staple, heavy staple, uh, reborn staple. I didn't see heavy all of day one, which really scared me. You had to rely on your graphics. Yeah, and I was like, Ugh, people, people hate graveyard apparently against me. Only. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, but yeah, that's for the spells. I mean, it's mainly um, to avoid those hands where you know you're like, oh, I open up all spells and or all traps. I can do something with you know every one of my spells. I can do something with. I can you know I can foolish. I can always monster born your card or my card. If I have to drag down you and just start target one of your monsters and monster born it, or you know the duality. You know every card is alive. You know it's not just oh I'm gonna set that bluff. You know I, I don't like bluff in these dark worlds. Uh, but onto the traps, like you said earlier, uh, like the other guy said, it, it's the best card in the game, Compulse. Um, it also it, uh, it works well with um, when they're attacking your tour guide, when you, you know, uh, tour guide, growl, bounce, uh, grappler, and they go to attack it, you just know. And you can reuse it, or you can you know, compulse their cards, mind crush it later. Or, you know, I actually did this in top tables again. I compulsed the. Um, uh, a car trooper and mind crusher so we won the plus off of it, even though I negged myself and I won that game. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just, I've, I've always just loved the card, you know. It's just really amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's one of those. You think you think you're gonna hear about that card? This card. Oh, yeah. well, let me tell you about this card called Mind Crush. <laughs> um, I've never, ever, ever, ever hated this card. Um, I hated it. I've never hated it. Never, never, never hated it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's literally nothing wrong with it. I mean, the whole deck basically, you know, runs off of, you know, breaking even or plusing. And this card, you know, naturally said it. You have heroes that, you know, just like, I'm going to search this, I'm going to straddle this, I'm like, no, you're not. Um, sharks? Did you hit any sharks? Yes, I did hit sharks. I did hit sharks. Because they're like, you know, real cost. I'm like, all right, cool story. The next uh, plan B now. Um, again, it's, it, it just works well with everything in the deck. You know, uh, the, the viruses, the uh, the goals, the deck devies, the him searching with duality. I mean, especially when they have like one card in hand, they're just like yeah, trying yeah. to search. Yes. Uh, I didn't play against any, um, I didn't play against any gear gears, uh today though. I mean Playing this weekend. Uh, Dark World. Oh yeah, I played against. I beat all my mirror matches. How many did you play? I played. Two, yeah, two mirror matches. Uh, my round one was a mirror match, and my seven round was a mirror match. I think. Now, how did you feel? Did you go first when anything hit the dark deals or drags down? Them? Did you help them out first, or uh, did they help you out first? They helped me out. They actually, uh, <laughs> game one, my round one, they, uh, he actually caught destruction. Ooh. And I was like, really? Man? I, like, okay. I have a question, too. Yeah. Is there any time when you knew your opponent was playing dark one? Um, like, before you guys start the match? Oh, no, no. Before the whole match, no. Like, I, I, until, like, usually, like, when the first card is played, you pretty much know. Because it's usually a discard card or they go set, set, set. I'm like, oh, okay, here it comes. Now, if you knew someone was playing it and they didn't know you were, and you run their die roll, would you choose them to go second? I mean, third? No, I would, I would definitely still go first. I would so definitely, yeah, I would still go first. Even though the drag down would be, I mean, uh, you don't want to give away. Yeah, you, you, like, still take the chance. Yeah, I mean, being able to just run, you know, no matter what they do, you know, you can just. Having that turn to be able to, you know, set, set, and you're not afraid of MST or anything, you know, any response, you can end your turn and have all your traps live. It's just, it's not bad. And when your opponent, you know, like I said, has anything in hand, you always have a uh, mind crush. You never mind crush the monsters in the mirror, man, before. But, um, you can hit, um, you can hit, um, gates, any, any spells, any traps, anything in heaven. So, that's kind of the part of the meta period. There's so much, uh, searching. Deck Debbie, it's, it's broken this format. I mean, you can keep Crush Card away. I mean, this, everything in the meta right now runs on little guys that like Synchro or Seed or anything like that. So I'm just, you know, this deck, contrary to belief, it wrecks uh, Gears. Uh, it, uh, but it uh, puts so much work in against um, um, uh, windups, yeah. Um, and Eradicator, a main one. And I never call traps. I'm always calling spells because every deck runs off of you know an engine which revolves around right. spells. Yeah. And uh, that's the stock master right there. Yeah, that deck. Yeah, it's set, summon gra turn one, summon grapple, and they're like, all right, yeah, you know, stand by face, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> um, every time I opened up with this and activated it, they, I, I won the game. And this is really why I won most of my uh, mirror matches. Um, it's like I said, it's, it's like shock master to, um, to the mirror match.
I win, you lose. <laughs> uh, not sound cocky at all. <laughs> now the extra deck is cool and all, but yeah. tell me about the side deck. I heard you had a very interesting way of side decking, yes. and we got a couple of minutes here left, so oh, run yeah. us through that really quick. Um, I side deck uh, Rikos mainly because people. Like I said, people mainly uh, with everybody, they always side uh, back row or they side hand traps. So with the right row, you can always get them caught in damage step and hit any of their monsters. You can hit a um, light pulse star causing mistiming, hit back row, hit macro cosmos, hit uh, fish, uh, uh, deep prism. I mean, uh, deep fish, I'm sorry. And uh, just, it absorbs an attack. Right. It's just, oh, and, uh, and usually whenever I um, side it in, I'll take out like the foolish to trade in the duality because those are random techs. Oh, except for foolish. And uh, this usually mills my grapples and it has right. multiple purposes. Milling the grapple, ki absorbing attack, killing back row, and you know, doesn't right. throw off the folks over there. Um, three MSTs for the back row, you know, that's mandatory in every other side. And you deck. said you were siding out your grapples yes, for I was, MSTs? Yes, I was actually siding out my grapples because everyone saw. I actually got prohibition grapple and I was like, I, I, I put on a sad face because I was, you know, he was expecting, he was like, oh, okay, right. yeah, I got you. Like that oh, oh. face. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, dang, my grandpa. Alright, cool. That's it. Oh man, uh, Gates, Ben Silva, Silva 26, let's go. Oh wait, by the way, MST. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you're gonna get that grandpa right? No, no, man, I'm not. No, I'm not saying my grandpa. I'm just gonna kill you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I took um, one, uh, two of my games. I actually took out all my grapplers for this because, like I said, they side in Macro Cosmos and Gemini Games, and I'll take out my. Um, there was actually times where I would like just take out my um my uh my discard engine and the only card I would keep in there is uh, uh small and it would just put in all the work. Um uh I, I, like I said I didn't play any gig years, but I did side in two second downs. It was completely dead the entire weekend. Do you feel it's better than the Chimera Attack uh, you know, Cyber Dragon sides uh, and stuff? I right now? I do simply for the fact that it hits the graveyard as well. And yep. you know, being able to remove stuff from the graveyard and the field. It, it, yeah, it, it yeah. moves from graveyard into oh. that's the And it saves space in your extra deck, and side deck, all that good stuff. So yeah. And you don't have to worry about the, uh, the cyber dragon getting, you know, bottomless right, or exactly. removed from gray or anything. Exactly. It's less acceptable to, you know, <coughs> um, I played three of these. Um, I was actually playing a Jinzo on my side deck. Um, but I actually put a third one of these in because I really, really hate wind up. I, I have no respect for wind ups. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, that, that turn one shock message just flip the table all day, you know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, three of these, I always want to see them opening in, along with the uh, other cards I'm going to show you. Um, but yeah, that's mainly <laughs> the only reason why I decided to go to matches. Uh, oh, and, and for uh, Samurai, but I never played one today, uh, this weekend. Uh, smog. I tried the smogs because of the mirror match. Um, Samurais, mainly because they go beast, and this is like your only outlet for that if you don't already mm -hmm. have the graph in the graveyard mm -hmm. or the Rikers. Um, it's, it's a good card. Everyone's gonna have something in the graveyard, especially with uh, Wind Up Rad and you know, Gigi uh, Arsenal or the race yeah. card, you know, all that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the last two cards, uh, two more viruses. Um, again, I signed the second one against the mirror match against anything that's, you know, spell heavy. Um, yeah, mainly I just sided against the mirror match today, uh, this weekend. Uh, and oh, and heroes. Oh, God, yes, heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Call those spells. Yeah. And then uh, run us down the extra deck real quick. Yeah. Okay. So everybody can see what that yeah. was. Um, Levier, Chorus, Zen Mains. Tim Tempo puts in so much work against yes. those players that choose to acid go on you. Um, Giga Brilliant, I'm probably going to take him out because I didn't play him at all this week. Um, Leviathan just put that early dark in the grave. Um, the guy that I was just bashing a few seconds ago. Um, Hopper Operative, didn't go into him, I'm probably going to take him out. Uh, again, uh, Jim Knight Pearl, Beat Stick, he's just like the new age uh, guy at night. Yeah. So, yeah, don't really need him. Um, this guy, I figured out he's a fiend like late. And when uh, I attacked a, uh, when I attacked a uh, 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 cyber dragon, he was like, "Yeah, um, it died." I was like, oh, "That's right." <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool story. Um, Utopia, I didn't go into. Uh, Tyrus, oh my God, uh, broken rank five. Uh, Armageddon, uh, uh, Adrius, again broken. 
Um, Heretic Sun. Thank you. Directly play that. This guy. Oh my God. He wins literally every game. He never goes away. He just sits there. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna do my job and um. True story. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yes, uh, I actually played a guy in my hero uh, in my hero deck. Just uh, like me. You play that card. He had, somehow I don't know how I let him do it, but he got a um, a shining up to like 41. I was like. I discarded all my gravels and I'm like, okay, um, silver, silver, bounce, bounce, normal summon, bounce. Oh yeah, I do run this guy. <laughs> oh, oh my And he, he looked at me and was like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I play that guy, by the way. And, uh, the one, uh, the one, uh, come here takes, in case my opponent has the, um, the cyber dragon. Cool. Anything you would have changed at all, like, uh, overall for the... For the whole tournament, uh, the main deck. Uh, I'm I'm pretty solid with the main deck. Uh, I, I like it. I probably turned to some of the one ofs, maybe the, uh, the duality. Okay. I was uh, actually talking on my channel about um, trying to figure out what to take out for it, and I actually just left it in. Um, whenever I guess better exceeds come out, I'm just gonna start running them. Yeah. You know that I can actually go into. But uh, like I said, I, I I noticed some of the other ones that I said were dead this entire weekend. Right. So. Um, you wanna shout out your channel before channel? we go? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, my team channel, um, Milk Money Militia. I know it sounds weird but uh yeah uh milk money militia all one word um my own channel uh, uh tetsui uh t-e-t-s-u-i-e -E. be on, on uh, yep. yeah it'll be it yeah um <laughs> it's all on youtube um you can find me on um, on facebook as well um garnell cooper you know there yeah, you know just trying to you know put my name out there <laughs> all right well, thanks man yeah. we appreciate you doing the profile no and problem. uh good luck to the rest of the way thank you right. thank you